Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Reviews back with another video and today we're talking about AirPods and AirPods Pro. Now these are amazing devices and of course they have a lot of features. And with iOS 14, there are even more features that you can use on your AirPods and AirPods Pro. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the top 10 new features that Apple has added for AirPods and AirPods Pro with iOS 14. All right, let's talk first about battery. Of course, very important when it comes to AirPods and AirPods Pro. Now with the latest iOS 14 update, iOS 14.2, Apple has added optimized battery charging for AirPods. Now it has been added to iPhone, then to the Apple Watch, and now we have optimized battery charging for AirPods. So you go to the Bluetooth menu, of course, with the AirPods connected, you tap that little I button right there, and lower here we'll find optimized battery charging and of course it can be enabled or disabled directly from here now i suggest you keep this on i keep it on all the time and it is really really important for the lifespan of the battery of your airpods of course it will make it last way way longer it won't like increase the battery life of the airpods but on the long run the battery lifespan will be much much better Alongside with optimized battery charging, there is another battery feature that Apple has added to AirPods and AirPods Pro on iOS 14, and that is the low battery notification. Now, of course, I cannot show it right now because I have my batteries on the AirPods here charged, but it will basically show you a pop-up at the top, just like the one that you see when you successfully connect your AirPods to your iPhone, and it will basically tell you that their AirPods are running on low battery. Another really amazing feature that Apple has added to AirPods with iOS 14 is the ability to automatically switch between devices. So you're on your iPhone and you move to your iPad or to your Mac, they will automatically switch between devices, of course, based on which device you're using. Now, if you go to the Bluetooth menu with your AirPods connected as always, tap that little I button right there, you will see here a menu for automatic switching. So basically you have this right here connect to this iPhone and you will have automatically. So basically the AirPods will automatically connect to your iPhone if you're using another device and then you get your iPhone and start using it. If you don't want that to happen, then you can go ahead and choose when last connected to this iPhone. Now what this means is that it will connect automatically to the iPhone only if you had them using on the iPhone last time. Like this time I'm using them on the iPhone right here. I disconnect them. The next time I pick up my iPhone, they will automatically connect to the iPhone. But if I was using them with the iPad and I get my iPhone, they won't automatically connect to the iPhone. Now, a very nice feature that was added on iOS 14 is the ability to monitor the volume of the AirPods directly from the control center of your iPhone. So you will get this little button right here. If you don't see this icon, make sure you go ahead and go to settings, go to the control center settings and enable it from there. Now, if you 3D touch on this, you can see it will pop up and it will show you the level right here, it shows you if it's okay or not, the decibels are right there. Now, what's cool about this is that it also shows you the battery percentage right there at the top. You will have the live listen right here. You can enable it or disable it. And you will also have here the option for headphone accommodations, which is another feature that Apple has added to iOS 14. So you can right here monitor the headphone level and also you can monitor from here without having to 3D touch on this at all. Another feature that I really like regarding iOS 14 and AirPods is that now you can see the battery percentage of each AirPod and the case right here on the new home screen widgets. So you can see we have the medium widget right here and we also have here the small one. So it basically shows you whether the devices are charging as well as the current battery percentage of each device. That of course is very, very useful. And you can see this on all three different battery widgets on the smaller one, on the medium one and on the bigger one as well. With iOS 14, there are new settings for AirPods and AirPods Pro as well. So if you go under the settings app and go to accessibility, right here, you will find audio and visual. If you go right here, you will have the new option, headphone accommodations. This has been added to iOS 14. So basically you can get like a custom audio setup right here with these settings. So you enable it right there and you will have here tuned audio 4. So you can choose basically how you want to tune 
the audio for your headphones like you have balance you have vocal range and brightness as well and then right here you can basically choose if you want your iphone to boost like soft sounds you can do that slightly moderate or strong right there and then of course you can play a sample here to show how your custom audio setup is and then right here you can choose whether you want to apply these to the phone or to the media you can choose to apply both of them or just one of them whichever you want now a very important setting that has been added for headphones on ios 14 is under sounds and haptics right here we'll find headphone safety now this is really important of course headphones are great and all that but they might damage your ears so what you want to do is make sure you have reduced loud sounds always turned on right there and what you can do here is go ahead and choose with the slider how much you want to set the limit for the headphone sounds now if you set it let's say in this case at 90 decibels right here it will show you right here as loud as a motorcycle so it will basically show you how loud those sounds are so what iphone will do is that when the sound reaches that point like in this case 90 decibels it will basically like keep the sound there it won't allow it to go any higher than that of course that will protect your ears Another feature that you can see right here are headphone notifications. Now, if you enable headphone notifications, basically iPhone will send you notifications when you have exceeded the recommended seven day hearing limit. So right here, you enable the notifications and you will get a notification that you have basically exceeded the limit always with your health in mind and your ears in mind to keep you healthy. Now these last couple of features are exclusive to the AirPods Pro, spatial audio. Now this is a big feature that Apple has added to AirPods with iOS 14, but they're exclusive to the AirPods Pro. And if you have like AirPods or AirPods 2, this won't work. So spatial audio, again, you go to the Bluetooth menu, tap the I button, and you will have a button right here to enable spatial audio. And right here will have a section that will basically show you how it works and of course you can hear everything and how spatial audio works which is really really cool again special out spatial audio can be enabled or disabled from here but there's the last feature and that's a cc button to enable or disable spatial audio you just go ahead and 3d touch right there on the volume of course always when you have your airpods pro connected and then from here you will have the ability to turn on or off spatial audio for your iphone so that is it for this video guys these are 10 of the newest features that apple has added to ios 14 of course for your airpods and airpods pro i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you on the next one